This is a short walkthrough of the Firecore CD-ROM, which was designed primarily for TAFE distance learners, that is students that were studying firefighting. We might just watch a little Fire bit of the help is a simulation menu. of the Early Warning Intercommunication or EWIS system, the Fire Indicator Panel and the Fire Fan Control Panel. At the station, select New Job to begin. From the teleprinter, select either Job 1, Job 2 or Job 3. Each job is a call out to the same address, but on a different day. When you arrive at the Fire Indicator Panel in the foyer of the building, Listen to the Chief Warden for more information and instructions. The Chief Warden will assist you for the duration of each job. Wait for him to finish before proceeding. To press a button, click it with the mouse. If the button is correct, you will proceed with the job. If the button is incorrect, listen to the Chief Warden for instructions. To switch to a different panel, click on the strip on either side of the screen. So we will just select a new job from the menu. So we worked with uh, New South Wales Fire Brigade officers. To, they wanted the bells and whistles basically. They wanted the bells and whistles to be as annoying as they could be because it simulated a, a real situation. We've got a report of a fire in Zone 5 and alarms from Zone 5 and Zone 6. The evacuation is in place and almost completed. Most people are out of the building. There are still some people on the lower floors. I'll give you a hand to operate the panel since I'm familiar with it. Silence the local alarm. We're going up to check it out. Now before we continue, I might just press pause and just explain a little bit. We, we added the uh, help function because our, the learners were not necessarily comfortable with using technology. So... Yeah, that's it. That's the bell off. The fire in Zone 5. This is the officer in charge. Can you isolate all zones that are in alarm? So they've been given an instruction and it's the, the... You've isolated the alarm in zone 6. Now move down to zone 5. I'll just make a couple of you errors click here. Isolate, then 5, then click enter. You so he, he gives feedback to try and guide the user. You need to click isolate, then 5, then click enter. So all of these flashing lights are quite significant. That's zone 5 isolated. We're on our way up. It's the officer in charge, uh, confirming we have located the fire in zone... So he just got cut off then, and then, as we will discover, he's ringing on the phone, which is mimicking a, a real situation. That's it. Now you're at the EWIS panel. So the little guide at the top is always there giving instructions, giving feedback. Good to see you know where the whip phone is. It's a good idea to hang it up at the end of each call. That way you'll hear the phone ring if another call comes through. It's the officer in charge, uh, confirming we have located the fire in Zone 5. My transceiver was breaking up a bit. Listen, we have smoke in the stairwells. Can you go to the fire fan control panel and make sure the stair pressurisation fans are okay? So he's given another instruction to the user. So we have to go to the fire fan control panel, figure out what's wrong and... Press the zone cleared button for zone 5. But before we do that, we have to <laughs> click some buttons as, as our guide has told us. Panel. He's, he just announced this is the fire fan you control need to make panel. Sure all switches are set to auto. So we have to you figure need to out make sure all switches are set to auto. Which ones are in auto and which ones are not? All switches are now in the auto position. So it's a simple enough task. However, it's stringing all these simple button clicks together that makes the experience meaningful.
Zone 3, Floor Warden here. I'm the last one to leave Zone 3, which is now evacuated. So now the user has to decide what, what do I do. So in this case, they have to click the Zone Manned and Zone Cleared buttons. Press the Zone Cleared button for Zone 3. Yeah, that's it. That tells us that Zone 3 is cleared. Yeah, that's it. That cancels the original Zone Manned light and tells us that Zone 3 is no longer manned. Another phone call. You'll be able to hear the caller when you pick up the phone. Because he didn't have the phone, he didn't this pick up the, the phone. It's two, Most two of the smoke is cleared from the stairwell. We have extinguished the fire in Zone 5. The fire has been contained to the area of origin. No sign of fire in Zone 6. Alarm possibly due to smoke travelling up to that zone. Still having trouble with my transceiver. Shut down the evac system. Cancel all evacuation and alert tones. We'll contact you again via this phone. So we did a lot of consulting with firefighters to when we scripted this to make sure that it reflected a a composite a, a real situation that was um quite common. You need to, you need to turn the key to manual. To turn the key in this program, click on the isolate manual or auto label above the key. Yes, that's it. The key needs to be on manual to take control of the EVAC system. The key in the manual position will halt the cascade sequence of the EVAC system. Start at zone 6 and work your way down the panel. Press the evacuate button for zone 6. So, as That's you can it. probably imagine, now press the alert button for zone 6. There are a lot of buttons, a lot of clicking. Now press this the is just an introduction, basically, five. so that now press the alert button for zone five. Firefighting students now press the evacuate button can for practice, zone four. practice with the buttons, now practice press the alert clicking button them, for zone four. get a feel for what's now press involved. Now the evacuate button for zone three, so that when they're using now press the alert button. Now press the alert button. The for simulated zone. now press the alert uh, button panel. In a workshop, face-to-face -face workshop. Give me a sec, and I'll make an announcement. They've got an idea of what's personnel. going on. This is the chief warden. The evacuation has been cancelled. It is not necessary to evacuate the building. That's the announcement done. Now back to the panel. The zone manned and zone cleared. Now this actually does continue off. on, but we won't continue on with any more because I think we've seen enough. So I might just go back to the station and wrap it up.